Will Brown was arrested after being falsely accused of raping a 19-year-old white woman in 1919, and a mob decided to take matters into their own hands. Remembering what Will Brown went through, Lord, how he was dragged from this courthouse, how he was hung from a telephone pole, Lord, how he was shot even though his body was lifeless. Lord, then dragged around town and even burned as people watched. Those in attendance say this marker is a step towards social justice in our city and a remembrance of a dark time in Omaha's history, but a start to moving forward. Many, many don't, they don't know, many don't know the, the hours, the days, the weeks, the years, that have gone into. Nature Viegas explained how she used to get in trouble in school as a child when she would talk about these stories. And I had my elders sitting with pictures and telling these stories and so when I would go to school and they would, I hated history because I'm like that's not true so I was the kid that was like actually or did you know or um, you know so this is one of the stories I would bring up along with Emmett Till. She said it was emotional to stand with so many people and recognize this time in history. I'm still kind of in awe, like, did this really just happen? Because I know that the years and decades of us saying, hey, wait a minute, people are like, nah, nah, nah. And now to see these truths coming out, it's, I thought permission to breathe, but it's more like a gasp of air. This weekend is the first time Juneteenth will be recognized as a national holiday in the United States. Not to celebrate and party, but to learn. I gave a presentation this Monday to a group of middle schoolers, and out of those 34 students, only two of them had ever heard of Juneteenth. So I think uh, we can first and foremost start, about, start with the educating of folks about Juneteenth and what it means. Reporting in Omaha, Ariana Martinez, 3 News Now.